Okay, now, Dini, we're back to the um, the hair show, and we're doing the apple pectin conditioner now. You can buy apple pectin um, in dry powder powder form. She's gone to sleep. So, I've mixed it together, and what apple pectin does is it moisturizes, like, instantly. Um, I've got it in her hair. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this up this little tad. Baby girl is gone, and her hair is bam popping got it in there and it is an instant conditioner she's back awake a little bit all right worked awake. it in <laughs> and it is amazingly moisturized i mean amazing um i'm doing the apple pectin as a little treatment before i do the clay because um clay is not drying it's moisturizing i'm using a bentonite clay um, mud mask that i make and I sell and it all it's gonna do is actually bring her curls out more even more see her curls are starting to form back more the apple pectin is I'm putting more um, moisture back in her hair and the clay is gonna just melt away her tangles and it's gonna do the job back with putting more moisturization back in and the pectin I've actually let sit in her hair up now for like 10 minutes and I'm giving her rinse it out it's a joy so great uh, it feels wonderful. So I've even gone down to the scalp with it. Um, her hair is shiny, it's lustrous, and it's amazing. And it smells great. It smells, it smells great. Apple pectin. Why not use apple cider vinegar? Everybody uses it. Apple cider cider vinegar. I only use that to clarify. For my body, I can I use it as a if I've had like a body breakout, if I have dry patches, I want to get used. I'm rid of I use like one part apple cider vinegar and three three to four parts of water depending on what the situation is so I only for the hair I use apple cider vinegar only if I feel like I have a buildup or if I feel like I have my hair is filthy or my scalp feels a little raunchy or whatever I use a, I'll clarify it get it in there real quick and get it out Apple cider vinegar um, balances the pH of your hair, but you don't need to leave it in there forever, and it does its job quickly. You can over dry your hair out with apple cider vinegar. That's why I don't use it much, and um, it will do that to your hair. All right. Apple cider vinegar also used in the hair. If you were trying to go natural and you had a relaxer, it will re reverse um, the relaxer. You could just you do it like two, two to three times a week. You know, so you don't damage your hair and do a deep conditioner after afterwards and it will actually reverse your relaxer. It will pull the relaxer out, the effects. Okay, so we've almost got this all rinsed out. And we're gonna go in now with her hair feels so good, it's so moisturized. It's just bam, just moisturized. Woo! Apple pectin is great. I love apple pectin. Apples are great in any form. Okay, so we've got this mainly all rinsed out. We got to get the nape. What's the nape? The nape is your neck area, baby. What kind of neck area I have? Your neck. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to go in. I've recycled. And here's my clay mask. Okay, so with the clay mask, I'm gonna start with her ends. I'm gonna start out at the ends. And with clay, you make sure that hair is drenched, okay? Make sure it's drenched, especially if you have tangles. All right, and when I come back, uh oh. Baby girl's starting to get irritated. You don't want me to come back, baby? You want me to go ahead and finish the video? Is that what you want me to do? Okay, we'll finish the video. We don't want the videos to be too long, so we'll go about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and work this clay mask in. All right, since Imani's hair is thirsty, you make sure, like I said, you keep her, keep the baby's hair. If your baby's hair is in this state, keep it well moisturized while you're putting the clay in. Just a quick, put that in there, bam. Work the clay in. You have to work fast with clay. 
You don't have time to be stopping and coming back. Get that clay in. It's gonna be all right, babe. Get it in. The clay is gonna be my final step. I'm not gonna use conditioner. I'm not doing any of that. Okay? The clay is the wash and the conditioner. And after the clay, we're done? After the clay, we're going to do a... Um, no, maybe. After the clay, we're going to do our... Um, mm, what is my oil called? We're going to do an oil wash, an oil rinse. And that'll be it. Then we're going to go under the dryer? No, no, you're not going under the dryer. You're doing everything air dry today. Everything air dry. Okay? So we're gonna get this clay in. And she's um, having a fit because I'm pulling a little bit. And she's a little tender headed. So we um, are concentrating on getting this clay in, baby. And yeah, and once it gets clay on the on the Okay, so let's try not to talk about that kind of stuff on our show. Because this is the what show? The D and E show. Dun, dun, dun. The D and E show. So remember, you put this clay in. You're keeping that hair moisturized with the water. All right. So I'm getting it in on the outer parts first. Okay. And on the ends. And we're getting to bring. We're working on over these next few months. We're gonna bring our baby's hair back to life. You're gonna see a change in Imani's hair. It's gonna go from dry and beautiful to moisturized and plump and juicy and beautiful. Okay? Now, while we're working, I'm gonna talk about what's going on with my hair right now. Right now, I have my henna treatment, treatment in. I have a henna and conditioner treatment going on. Hannah? Not Hannah, a henna and conditioner treatment it's going on. Hannah. I'm saying Hannah, Imani, and this be quiet, honey. A henna treatment. So with my henna treatment, I have the conditioner I have is an all-natural homemade conditioner. And Hannah, Mahandi. I'll get it from Mahandi.com. I use the African henna. And I use just a tiny bit of conditioner with it. I don't like the the reason why I mix it with conditioner. Some people like um, I don't want all of the red dye. I mean it's going to leave some but I'm using it as a strengthening conditioner on my hair. Monty? Yes baby. Uh, I want to sleep over with Aunt Connie today. Okay. You can have a sleepover with Aunt Connie if she says it's okay. Okay. I can't say yes and then She's like, I got too much to do, okay? She has to say yes. All right? You understand that? Yes. Yeah. We can call Aunt Connie today, okay? We'll call Aunt Connie today. Okay, so as you can see, I'm working it in. And as I'm working it in, it is work melting the tangles away. This clay is amazing, okay? Bentonite clay. And I have added some essential oils to it. And this is a, a mixture for kids, okay? And the reason why I say it's for kids is because you can't use the same dose of essential oils that you use on you as an adult, okay? Because it can harm them. You have to know the amount of dosages of which essential oils that you can use. Do your research. If you're making your own products and you know what you're doing, have at it. If you don't, you can go on my website or give me a message me. And if you want a special product made, if your baby is sensitive, I can make a. I can make a special product for your baby. Just let me know. Let me know their needs. So working it in, you can see Imani's texture is coming back to life. Lizzie, okay. You have to be careful on the stuff with my name. Like, you might get hot. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this. And I'm going to come back. 
and I'm going to let you know how everything turns out. All right? So I want you guys to continue to watch and see the transformation of Imani's dry hair in this three to four to five part series. All right? Thank you for watching, and we'll be back. Our next phase after the clay wash is going to be her castor oil rinse. All right? See you later.